Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel and videos. Much appreciated, as always. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you nice and easily how to configure and create a custom kernel for FreeBSD. It's uh, fairly trivial, doesn't take very long. You just have to really think about what you're doing. So without further ado, let's uh, jump into our terminal. My terminal of choice for this is putty. So here we go. So one of the first things that I would do would be to make sure that I've got a very recent um, make build world done uh, without updating the sources anymore after that build world. I would go into user source and there's all the sources checked out for this version of FreeBSD. So this is 13.0 um, release and I can then go into sys AMD, which is the architecture of this particular system, and then into the conf. So if I list what's in here, you'll see a few there. Now I've already done a custom kernel for this, and I can see that by doing a uname minus a. And if you look, root at Mac mini, user object source, user object, user source, amd64.amd64, sys Mac mini. That's the, the kernel that it's running. Um, so what I would normally do would be to edit the generic because it's a good starting base. And from here, I would firstly change the name to whatever you want it to be. I generally use uh, the name of the system that I'm configuring this on. Um, and then I would scroll down to all these, these options and devices. Now, it depends on what devices you want to add or take away. I would be extremely cautious about taking devices away. You can do it. It's, it's just worth checking which ones you want to take away. And quite often, you can take the wrong one away and end up with um, a non-functioning system. So just be extremely careful which ones you're taking away. When it comes to adding, again, if you've got a, a network card, for instance, that is, is not in the kernel by default. And as you can see with my system, I didn't. So the one that I added in was BWN. I would then save this as the new config file. So then when we list the directory again, there it is. So what do I do next? Well, simply make build kernel kern conf equals and the name of that configuration file that you just set up. So and that will go off to the races for some time. Once that's complete, the next step is to install that kernel. So you would change build kernel to install kernel. And that really is all there is to configuring a new kernel on FreeBSD. Like I said, I can't stress enough that just be extremely careful what you're taking out and what you're putting in. And this would be where the use of um, boot environments on FreeBSD with ZFS would come in very handy because you can change the, the boot environment uh, and, and change it so that it boots to the new environment, which would be your new kernel, and then you can change it back to the old one. That That's very handy. It, might run through that in another video, but it, it's really that simple to to get a, a FreeBSD kernel customized and uh, built and installed. Um, 
so yeah, uh, if, if you think of another way that's easier, please let me know. I'm always on the lookout for great tips and, and ideas. Um, put them in the comments below, let me know. And also, you know, put, put your options in the, in the comments below. I'd like to know what you're putting in your custom kernels. Let us all know. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and, a, and, and subscribe to the channel. It, it's very helpful to me if you do that. Um, it's free, doesn't cost anything. So, you know, give it a like and a, a subscribe. Um, please, please bring the comments. I like reading them and it, it gives me ideas for what else that you guys want to see. So that, that's always good. Um, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.